Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Sophie. In case you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. So here's another apartment hunting video. To be more precise, Ruiru apartment hunting um, video. And today I will be showcasing a two-bedroom unit that costs 20,000 Kenyan shillings that I came across when I was still looking for an apartment to move to. And um, yeah, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel um, for more such videos. Uh, yeah, and without further ado, let's get started. So once you get in through the very narrow um, black door, this is what you see. This is the living space, which as you can see is very, very huge. That's a good thing, but I must admit that in my opinion, the floor was actually a bit too busy. Um, I found the tiles very busy, but I love the fact that the walls are plain white, like a very bright white, which is a good thing, especially if your tiles are going to be looking like that. So the ceiling has, um, it's actually a white ceiling, but has um, details of green. I don't know if you like that or not, but that's exactly what you get in the apartment it's actually a bright ceiling which is a good thing again considering just how uh, busy the floor is and there's a huge window and a huge uh, and a nice second door i mean reasonably sized second door from the window you can see ruiru very well and the door of course leads you to the balcony the living space balcony so when you get in, uh, when you open the door, pardon me, you are led through to this balcony. As you can see, it's quite spacious. And what I liked about it is the fact that you do not have to share the balcony with your immediate neighbor. It's all yours, as big as it is. And you can see a very big part of Ruiru and the vegetation around it while standing here. So this is a place where you can just, you know, step outside and get some sun or some fresh air as well. And I love the fact that this door is white like this again i prefer neutral colors in any kind of apartment or any kind of house because it just makes it easier for you to decorate so this is what you see when you stand at the balcony so of course back to the house back to the apartment sorry um i really love the fact that they have provided you with good cutting rods um you can actually hang your curtains very comfortably here um and your shears as well and this is how the living space looks from this angle um again it's very big which is a good thing so that's the door from the outside it's black from the inside it's white again i appreciate that and a part of this wall has a shade or a tint of green not too much but that's okay and then this door here leads you to you know this is the kitchen area so once you get into the kitchen the kitchen is actually very very it's quite dark again the ceiling is white and green you get a double sink in this kitchen a double sink is always a good thing because you get more sink space so these are the tiles in the kitchen area they're different from the tiles in the living space i actually prefer them to the ones in the living space because in as much as they're busy they're less busy than those ones you have a lot of cabinet space as you can see up and of course below the sink um, and on, below the counter you get a lot of counter space so storage will definitely not be an issue in case you decide to get um, to actually move into this particular apartment. And then we head on straight to um, this area, the first bedroom. This is the first bedroom. This is the second bedroom. And then there's the washroom area. So let's start with the washroom. I found the washroom very spacious. But one very weird thing about this washroom was the fact that there was actually space behind the toilet, which I did not understand because it's actually quite unnecessary when you think about it. Why would there be a space right behind the toilet? I feel like that space wasted because if the toilet was moved further, you'd have more bathroom space, more space to, you know, stand, more space to store your laundry, laundry baskets. Um, but this is the shower, uh, the shower that you get. Of course, the shower head is perfectly fine. It functions very well. The walls are nice and clean. So as you can see, this house, this apartment has been very well maintained. But that's the space I was talking about. I feel like it's completely unnecessary. But um, it's there, so nothing you can do about that. But it's a spacious bathroom regardless. So that's the door leading to the bathroom. 
As you can see, the floor is also different in the bathroom and then we'll go to the smaller bedroom first. So this is the smaller bedroom. Again, this is a two bedroom apartment. I love the fact that it's well lit. There are no buildings covering up or hindering the lighting. And I actually prefer this styling to the tiling in the living space again because it's more muted. It's more minimalist compared to the loud um, tiling in the living area. So when you move to the window, that's what you see. And then I love the cabinetry um it doesn't give you too much space but at least um it's well partitioned i'll show you that in a bit but the uh the space in the room isn't so much so that's why this is the smaller this is the smaller bedroom it can fit a smaller bed and um a few things but this would be such a perfect house if you lived alone perfect apartment so i was talking about the apart uh, the cup the wardrobe space i love the fact that they partitioned this bits uh that partitioning to me is always very important because you don't always just hang clothes sometimes you do fold your clothes and the space is sufficient especially this uh, because of the fact that this is an extra bedroom it's not the main one so you can fold your clothes very well put them there and a lot of other things that you use in your preparation or anything like it gives you some good storage which is something you definitely have to appreciate and that's how it looks like uh, when one stands at the back so there's that as well and then next we go to the master bedroom um this is what it looks like again i prefer this styling to the tiling in the living space again because of the same reason it's minimalist i love the fact that the walls are so bright very nice and white despite the fact uh, that the window is a bit slim there's sufficient lighting coming into the room and to me lighting is very important so that's what you see when you move closer to the window uh, that's the view you get of course just Ruiru being the normal Ruiru uh, I love the fact that um, this window just allows in so much lighting as you can see and that's the cabinet space the wardrobe area of the bedroom so I feel like this brown is well not feel like but it is different from the cabinet in the other room but basically this is the size of this room as you can see it's quite big compared to the other one it can actually fit a six by six bed unlike the other one and this is the cabinet space so for this particular um, wardrobe they haven't really done much partitioning but um, as you can see there's still sufficient space I'm usually very particular with the partitioning because I like to fold some clothes while I hang others. But this is what it looks like when I move behind. Yeah, so this is generally the space in this particular room. And I feel like it's so sufficient, especially um, if you have a lot of stuff. If you're going to be living alone in this apartment, then you will definitely enjoy um, this amount of space, both in this room and in the next. But if there's two of you, still perfectly fine because it can fit in a lot of things. So as you can see, there's a lot of cabinet space, even above and Generally, this is what the room looks like when you step out. So yeah, basically those are the rooms in this particular apartment. I will leave the contact details of the caretaker in the description box. Um, I don't know if you loved it. Let me know what you think about it. But that's generally the house in a nutshell. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.